Good evening. I'm Gaynor Hall. And I'm Ben Bradley. Micah and Ray are both off tonight. We begin with breaking news. Chicago police announcing an arrest in the murder of a seven year old girl who was shot while in the backseat of a car with her younger sister. The two were with their mom when the shooting happened back in August in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood. WGN's Patrick Elwood joining us live from CPD headquarters with the latest on the arrest. Pat. Gator and Ben, good evening to you. Arrested again, but this time the state's attorney, Cook County State's Attorney, has agreed to file charges. These charges of the, are the beginning, we hope, of bringing some measure of closure to the grieving family of these two innocent little girls who were sitting in a parked car when they were struck by gunfire. 24-year-old Arian Luster was arrested today in the basement of his grandmother's home in Riverside. He is charged with the murder of 7-year-old Serenity Broughton, who was shot in the chest and abdomen. Luster is also charged with the attempted murder for shooting Serenity's 6-year-old sister, Aubrey. She was shot in the chest. The girls were shot as they sat in the back of their parents' car after just leaving a relative's home on the northwest side. Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahead says the girls were not the intended targets. We believe that these suspects were shooting at a relative who is part of that house. And unfortunately, as you can see all too often, these guys, as the superintendent mentioned, they just pull up and they're in an alley and they just start firing their handguns in that direction. And it's the seven-year-old, unfortunately, uh, in this tragic case. Luster is the same suspect, though, arrested in September, but released when the Cook County State's attorney refused to bring charges. At the time, the district commander took the rare step, along with the backing of the local alderman, Gilbert Villegas, of criticizing Kim Fox for the refusal to charge. In published reports, that commander wrote an internal CPD memo expressing his desire to take the case directly to a judge himself to get those charges filed. Tonight, the superintendent says since that time, additional evidence has surfaced, which has led to today's re-arrest of Luster. Police are still asking the public's help with locating the second shooter and the driver of that vehicle. Because of this senseless gun violence, far too many parents in our city are grieving for a murdered child like Serenity. So a $2,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of that second suspect believed to be the getaway driver. And you can file or send in an anonymous tip at cpdtip.com. Reporting from police headquarters tonight, Patrick Elwood, WGN News, Gaynor and Ben, back to you in the studio. Okay, Pat, thank you. Chicago police also announcing